gentlemen, the one and only talented Joanne Yo. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Good morning. I wasn't Hi. expecting you to actually to, to play this because usually we'll have the guests on set first to talk and then we'll say, oh yeah, yeah she's going to play so us a I song. I have to prove myself <laughs> what to do. <laughs> no, that was a very grand entrance you played for yourself, right? Yeah. You chose a very grand <laughs> song to but, play. But, you know, one fact for the matter is something you don't need to prove yourself, you know? <laughs> You're well known in Malaysia as you. you know our very own Vanessa May. You were discovered um, by the media a few years back, and then you got a little quiet. Yeah. Uh, you know. So yeah, what, what have, have you been, been up to, Joy? Um, <clears throat> I've been busy traveling, mm. um, playing uh, outside of Malaysia. Okay, okay. Like for next week, I'm going to Delhi to oh, play wow. for the launch oh. of a BlackBerry phone. Mm. Okay. So, so I've been busy doing that, uh, mainly overseas. Right. So you've yeah. been uh, you know performing overseas a lot. Yeah. Uh, what else? You know, we heard you've become uh, your appointed head of yes, a certain university. Right. Maybe you can <laughs> share that with us. I was appointed head um, on first of March mm -hmm. this year. So the music department is has been around mm -hmm. since 1996. Mm -hmm. That's UPM, UPM, okay. UPM music department, and we've got eight full-time staff. And all of us are specialists in our own areas. Uh, CV so and what you've accomplished over the years. I mean, we'll probably take up the entire show segment. So uh, we're going to jump straight to, you know, obviously you, you've achieved a lot of things uh, up to this point of your career. But maybe, you know, for, for, for our viewers' sake, maybe take us back to where it all started. How did you, you know, when did you know that this is what you were going to do? <sighs> okay, let's see. That was a long time ago. How not that long. <laughs> it feels like a long time ago. It feels like a long time ago. I uh, started when I was four. Okay. okay. That was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's only like... She's 16. 16, <laughs> 16 um, and the head of the music department. No, my goodness, no way. I um, started when I was four and I started off with the piano first. Okay. And then I continued with the violin mm -hmm. at the age of eight. Right. And I did a double major degree mm. uh, in both piano and violin. Mm. But after that, I progressed on to, to specialize only in the violin. Okay. What made you choose between the two, um, you know, wanting to uh, be a performer as a violinist instead of a pianist? Number one, at the time when I came out, I think there were very few violinists right, in the market, right, so it's okay. easier to make money. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a very true businessman yeah, right very there. practical lady. Yeah. 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 And also, it's... Um, it's more cool to have a violin than to lug a piano yeah, around. That's true. Right. Yeah, for, uh, for a while now. What's your, you know, maybe advice to future violinists? Uh, aspiring uh, aspiring violinists, yeah, violinists, or musicians. Is, is uh, being a violin player um, a secure uh, future? Not just a violin player, but I, I would say for all musicians, mm -hmm. we, there's always a need for musicians, more musicians in Malaysia. We don't have enough. Mm. We get calls from music schools asking for music teachers all the time. Mm. There's just a need for it. Mm. So if you want to do music, I think number one is passion, of course. Mm. I mean, music is such a, it's such an emotional instrument, mm. an emotional subject. Why yeah, do you so think that there is a lack of musicians in Malaysia? I'm sure, you know, Malaysians are very talented. Mm. I'm sure there are a lot of <coughs> young kids here. Um, who are very talented in music. Why, why is there a lack in the industry? There is a lack because <coughs> there's just more people nowadays who want to send their kids for <laughs> music education. There's just not enough supply. Okay. Mm. Yeah, a lot of yeah. musicians also live overseas All right. because right. The, the culture and the climate here mm. is not so yeah. conducive for us. Right. What would you say would be the next step to kind of change the situation around? Maybe you know, have more training grounds for... Yeah, more education. Ed educators? Education. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you know what, uh, Joanne, we want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. And all the best in your future endeavors. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank, yeah. you. thank you.